You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. What's up? Um, it's time for your surprise. All right. And you're looking amazing. <laughs> what are you doing, Brian? All the balls, Brian. All the balls. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hey, pitcher. Do something. So here I am with John and Lori. Hi. John's our coach. What do, what, how, do, how are we looking this year? How are we going to be? We look pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, we're going to we be are? good. Yeah, we're pretty solid. All Top right. to bottom. Ooh. Tops and bottoms. Yeah, there yeah. we go. That's all, that's all we need, right? I'm in the middle. So. You guys, I have a special surprise for Brian later in the video. I think you know what it is. Ew. Okay, five swings against Brian. The goal here is that I have to hit the pitcher's net or the back net. I need three of the five, at least three of the five. If so, what? I get to top tonight. Oh. If not, well, you know what's gonna happen. <laughs> Ready? What What are you saying? Let's go. I don't go. want to know. He knows. All I know is that, get ready for the knuckle ball. Oh gosh. One. What? That's one. No. One oh, for well. two. Whatever the game was, you lost. Oh, I got to hit off the next two. No, no, back no. Back net, back net. It hit there. Count it, count it, count it. That was a bad pitch. I had to step back. Let's get some good pitches. They're good all pitches. strikes. I'm just asking for a strike, that's all. Oh! It hit that. It hit the top. It hit the top. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. Get ready. I don't know what the bet was. I'm sure it was something dirty. Somebody's going to clean out tonight. No. One, two, two three. three. Rip time! One, three. We need to work on that, you guys. We need to work on that. Oh, my. I love Market Basket. And that's why I love you. <laughs> this is what Brian is. You goober. This is what John is. A whopper. Batting practice, done. Groceries, done. We haven't eaten anything yet. Lunch so, in the car. A little sushi in the car. I have some chicken wings because I'm not a big sushi fan. Well, you smell like fish most of the time. I don't get how... Close your legs. Hi, Outlouders. How are you? You might not like sushi, but I think you're going to like what I have in store for you later. What's that? It's a little surprise. Okay. Ringing with excitement. What's up? Um, it's time for your surprise. All right. And you're looking amazing. <laughs> what are you doing, Brian? Come on. Let's take a quick spin to our billing department and tell you about today's sponsor, Gentle Bands. The company Gentle Band that makes these, they're just for men. I find, like any rings that I've looked at, for guys, they're pretty boring. Yeah. You know, they're, you know, a silver band, a gold band. Not to say that they're not beautiful, but they're not unique. And that's kind of one thing that Gentle Band kind of has over everybody. My ring is called the Star Boy. And I picked it because <laughs> it has dinosaur bones, and a meteorite in it, and it's handcrafted. When you open the package, you can see who made it, who handcrafted it, they have a little signature there, and I'm gonna wear a freaking dinosaur bone on my finger all the time. And mine is called the Velociraptor, because one, I love dinosaurs, but it's, again, dinosaur fossil, which they pair up with museums. It's not like they're digging up stuff and like putting it in the ring. Yeah. These are fossils, too small fragments to be put on display. So they put them in your ring, so which cool. I think, and with opal, 
which I absolutely love. And then also they gave us a chain because some people do not wear their rings on their fingers. Yeah. Like I got a lot of guys, especially depending on their work, like how oh, this is still just as beautiful around your neck and then you don't have to worry about damaging the ring. So yeah. check out the video description, Gentle Bands. We're gonna have a link down there and also a discount code which gets you 25% 25 off percent of off. your purchase. Yep. So thank you, Gentle Bands. We really appreciate these. We love the rings, they're I'm gonna, beautiful. I'm gonna take my fossil out on the town. <laughs> you ready? Yep, I got a T-Rex right here, baby. But let's get back to today's video. We thought we were gonna do a little fun mukbang for you, but sadly we got halfway through and realized, oh darn, we forgot to hit record. <laughs> There you go. Um, so we're halfway through our salads and we got some lovely steaks and potatoes for you. And we wanted to sit here in the light of the rings that we told you about earlier. But have you ever actually had any other rings that you were like near and dear? You know, I was married, so I had a wedding ring. Do they know that you were married? <clears throat> I don't think, I mean, they knew I had an ex. I don't know, I don't know if they knew I was married. Well, no wedding rings cool. for me. But no. it's weird because I see a lot of my friends my age getting married. I'm like, wow. It is your age group now. It's happening, you know, 30s. But what do you guys think of marriage? What is your POV on it? I'm not anti-marriage by any means. I just don't know, like. If this is what I think. Have another beer? No, it's an open opportunity. It's oh gosh, it's, it's just so ready, and just you got to take the plunge on in. And you know what? You do. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm ready. If you make steaks like this every night, well, could, thank you. I could reconsider. That's the it. thing. So, is this marriage material? Is this marriage material? Our marriage material. I think. Can I speak with my mouth open when we're? Yeah. If we're, okay. you guys, I did the reverse sear technique with these steaks. Back to the marriage thing. So you wouldn't marry me? I would totally marry you. Here's the thing, Brian. I would totally marry you. And I would have married you already within this relationship if we were 15 years younger. Well, if you were 15 years <laughs> I was younger. I say, if he was 15 years younger, right, we could. Well, that wouldn't work out. That would be a little but freaky. If, if if you were 15 years younger. But see, this way, now when I croak, you don't get anything. Excuse me? I love to hear when my gay friends are getting married. I think it's amazing. Gay weddings. You know what? Have I actually ever been to a gay wedding? Oh my gosh! Brian, I've never been to a gay wedding. Well, you're, you're not 30 yet. You guys! I think. I'm here! Invite us! I remember actually if I've been to a gay wedding besides my own. How, how was your wedding? Can you tell me a little bit about your wedding? What was your wedding day like? What happened? So we ended up getting married in the back of a Chevy van. No, in the, oh back, my gosh. In the backyard of the Justice of the Peace on Cape Cod with my sister and Todd's mom and her friend Bill and my mom on the phone with us. Oh my gosh. So that's why marriage, marriage is good. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Of course. Oh. It's just that 50% of them will fail. And that's all, and I mean, I always look at it sometimes, sadly, that like I failed at it, you know? Oh. You know. I talk to a lot of people and patients and I've seen my own family members go through marital issues. Yeah, it's very and stressful. Yeah, I'm cool with this. No, I am too. I Like seriously, I don't, know how much it would change us. I really, I to really- To be honest. I might be able to cook this steak a little bit better if we're married, but like, this is as good as it gets. Well, that was amazing. So you guys, I think whether or not we tie the knot is yet to be determined. Yeah. And I love you. I always will love you. So. Forever. Um, I love potatoes. I loved everything about that. I love meat. <laughs> And we love you guys. Yeah. So please smash that like button. Go yeah, we got a little deep on this one. Not oh, as funny. Go check out the video description. Oh yeah. Gentle bands. Gentle bands. Got a discount code. Twenty-five percent. I do it. You do it. I do it because after seeing these, check I really out the Star it. Boy. No Velociraptor. You know what though? Don't get the same. No, one don't. Yeah. 
Well, it'll look a little different. They said it. I know so. they will because they're all unique. But there are you know what? hundreds. If you want to get, I, I picked out like nine rings. If you want to get Starboy, I'll allow it. <laughs> Show it to us. I'll allow. Send it. us a picture of. It. We love you guys. Bye. Don't forget to live your lives out, out loud. loud. Gotta finish my steak. Go for it. I'm done. Oh, and do you know what is really Catch cool, Brian? One thing that's really cool, getting your name up on the screen right around here. When you're the member. Oh, you know, the members. We, yeah, we have them right, going on the screen right now. Can you point, point to, point somewhere? Oh, look, there's yeah. Jeremiah. Oh, there's Rick down there. Oh, there's Horatio. Oh, there you go. You never know when your name's gonna pop up. I don't know. Thank you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, members. We love our members. We love we love our non-members. We too. love our members more than I love potatoes. That's saying a lot. <laughs> That's saying that accompanies French fries. Yeah. Hash browns. Oh, tater tots. Mashed potatoes. Wait. All right. No. I love members, but tater tots. I, I love know. potatoes. No, oh, those cottage fries we had in Cleveland. Thing. Okay, turn the camera off. <laughs> You gotta, because we could talk about this forever. <laughs>